so it stopped raining at around what, 9, 9.30 last night, which was good because we were worried about the tent leaking on us last night. So this is actually our official first night in some rain. Uh, we're in the Tapui tent and we came in to play some cards just to get out of the, the moisture and the rain. And there was a big puddle of water in the center of our sleeping bag near our feet. And I thought, what the heck is going on? So I opened up this, the skylight part of the rooftop tent and I can see a really good quick forming bubble right there that just kept dripping and dripping and dripping. And somehow, and somehow that made its way down the fabric here, pooled at the bottom, and then just created a pool at the zipper here and just made a whole big pool on our bed. Not cool. So we woke up this morning and you can see the mountain behind me. It's cleared up a lot. Uh, that rain last night really helped with the, with the smoke from the BC fires. And we're bugging out today. We're heading back home. It's too bad. Because now it looks like it's going to be, well, we'll see some nice, uh, we'll have some really nice footage on our way out uh, through Jasper and then back to Banff and then back home. Start taking down. So with all that rain last night, uh, it looks like a lot of the smoke from the fires have cleared up. We can actually see some mountains. That thing is awesome. Looks like they're from Switzerland, I think. Man, check out this. So I'm in luck. I ran into the owners of this uh, Land Rover Defender 110 series. His name is Marcel. All out of checker plating. Yeah, that's it's built by a construction like this material. Which this one? Yeah. That's a structure. We think we saw him last year. Yeah. That little bit. And this sweet uh, part. That's the other part. Last year. Uh, this one. Oh, that green. That little. Oh, okay. That's green. green. That's green. Yeah. That's yeah. it's yeah. built by. Yeah. He's from Alaska. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. But this opens up though, that whole top opens up. That's very exciting. Sand tracks? I've got the I got the max tra yeah. the uh, element ramps on yeah, my Jeep. That's, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's I uh, most ten years ago when Yeah. So we yeah, we're from Normally in Canada we don't do <laughs> No, no. We use these mostly to level our vehicles. Yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. And then you got a nice nose box for extra stuff here That's at the front. Only a storage, uh, yeah. Because I, I, I think it's much better to have uh, aerodynamics. aerodynamics. Yeah. 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 I had a roof rack on mine. I yeah. took it right off and I yeah. built a nice little bar yeah. on my to put like firewood and yeah, extra yeah. fuel. Yeah. It just it was so noisy. Yeah, yeah. Like the wind. See, yours oh, is fine because you're in line, but my bar was up here oh, yeah. and I was creating that ripple effect and yeah. it's just so noisy. No, that's not my problem at the moment because it's good for normal roads. Yeah, in these roads. are the tires on my on my trailer. They they were on my Jeep. Now I have the BFGs yeah. uh, KO2s. Yeah. Is yeah. what I run. Yeah. yeah. So also is it modified inside? It's all uh, <laughs> a little bit special. Yeah? So it's uh, the engine is is uh, is modified. The suspension, the brakes, all. Wow. <laughs> Because you need a little bit more power. Yeah, defenders are very rare here in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the free, yeah. The water tanks. We have another one. Which one do you run? I've never heard of Waco before. Yeah. And that's uh, the water tank for using water. And we have another tank and uh, in the back. Yeah. And so this one I can heat up a little Is that the water? Is that a water tank? That's for a shower for my. Oh, okay. You don't like to stay on a, yeah, yeah, yeah. On a normal gravel road. Oh, okay. A shower plate. <laughs> yeah, we bought it like a privacy, one of those little <laughs> privacy tents. Yeah. That's all. Uh, that's all. And this runs on diesel? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. It's, uh, for, uh, I built them for a range for 2,000 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> the range is 2,000 kilometers. Yeah, so you have dual tanks? Uh, four. Four? <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Well, for your trip. Yeah. Four diesel tanks. Many, yeah. uh, awesome. That's, that's we were uh, going to Crudo Bay. Yeah. yeah. Back to uh, Fairbanks, and we don't need a yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, we were up to Yukon, Alaska last yeah. year, and we kept about 40 liters of fuel yeah. with us at all times. So, yeah, yeah just to hopefully, because gas is expensive. Expensive up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not like in the US. Yeah. Yeah. They were stopping out, stopping by to check out the Athabasca Falls. Whoa. So we're here at the Athabasca Glacier. And when I was 10 years old, that glacier down there used to be back behind me. And it used to be like a 20 foot high sheer glacier wall. So in 35 years, you can see how much of this glacier has melted. It's ridiculous. 